It has finally arrived, the Bobcat 300, the helium miner that I ordered a little over three months ago. But in today's video, we're going to unbox this bad boy and get it set up and show you guys step by step how to do it. First thing in the box is this little troubleshoot guide that shows you kind of how to set it up with some frequently asked questions. And then on the back, it's just showing you do's and don'ts of the Bobcat Miner. Go ahead and peel this back and we can see some of the parts in here. You got the miner itself. Looks like the antenna down here, as well as some uh, screws to mount it onto the actual wall if you want to do that as well as the power adapter. And then what comes in the box is also this little pin thing. And this is used to activate the Bluetooth on the back of the Bobcat Miner. So we'll do that later and show you how that works. As for the back side of the miner, you have the antenna plug-in all the way to the left, the Bluetooth activation hole there to the right of that. And then the next two slots you don't really need. And Ethernet, if you want a more stable connection, you can run a cord to the Bobcat Miner, and then lastly, the power adapter insert. So I went ahead and screwed in the antenna, as well as plugging that into the back of the Miner, as well as the power adapter. Something to mention also is the dues. So obviously for this Miner, you wanna put it indoors. And then I am gonna be using an ethernet cable to make it more stable. And uh, basically it says, connect the antenna before actually powering on the hotspot. And then obviously don't like you know, jam anything into the back or hit your miner with a hammer, you know, common sense, stuff like that. The next thing you wanna make sure is that it's plugged in with the antenna as well as the power adapter already. And you can see that the light right now, if you can't tell from the camera itself, is yellow. So once it's yellow, that just means that it's pretty much ready to be powered up on the app and get connected to everything necessary. Once you have the miner ready to go, what you want to do is download the Helium app, which you'll open and go ahead and create an account. And you'll see this page where you're going to generate my 12 word password. And these 12 words are extremely important to keep safe somewhere because if someone gets access to these words, then essentially they have access to the Helium that you're mining in your account. Once back in the app, we're going to go ahead and add a hotspot and it shows all the different miners that are available out there. Now we have the Bobcat Miner 300, so we're gonna click on that. And then it's gonna tell us some advice on where to put your hotspot. Essentially, don't keep it in an iron box or anything like that. You want it closer to a window. You want it to have a open environment where it can receive signals. And once you click through that, you'll have this show up where you have it plugged in. Like I showed you, the light is yellow and ready to go. So I can click on the I'm powered up. Helium would like to use Bluetooth, basically you're going to say okay. And now we're gonna activate the hotspot and make sure that it is blue. So this is where you pull out the pin that was provided within the box. And after inserting the pin for about five seconds, the light went ahead and turned blue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click scan for my hotspot and it's scanning for the hotspots. It found the one that I have uh, set up, so we're gonna go ahead and click on it, and it's connecting to the Bobcat Miner. Then you're gonna go ahead and click either the Wi-Fi that you use or whether or not you're gonna use an ethernet instead. And if you do get an ethernet cable later, you can go ahead and plug that in. It's not a you know one-time thing. You can change it at a later point if you decide you want the ethernet and a more stable connection. Then it's gonna ask you for the hotspot location itself, so you wanna make sure that you give access to your location. When you register that location, it's important to remember that you're not supposed to be moving your helium miner around and that location of the antenna should pretty much stay permanent. Now, if you do decide that you need to move it to another location or you're moving or something like that, every time you do that, it's a $10 fee in order to move the location of your miner. And when you set it up, initially it pretty much just says, hey, everything's prepaid. So there isn't any cost when you set it up. It's just, if you decide to move to a new location, it's gonna be 10 bucks. Then you need to set up the antenna. So it defaults to four. So I'm just gonna leave that. And then for the actual height of the antenna, it's just asking how far off the ground you are. So I'm in a city and I'm on the third floor. Then you'll click through to register the location. And if you do move the antenna later, you have to pay a fee in order to move the hotspot location. But you can see right now, it just shows syncing and 
and this can take up to 72 hours, that's what I hear. So realistically, it's pretty easy to set everything up and it's pretty straightforward. So looking forward to actually mining helium and I'll give an update, you know, once it's actually synced and probably like a week after how much helium I'm actually earning. In order to get an idea of what we could earn with our helium miner, we can look at the miners that are around me. You can see this one set up two hours ago, that's me. While we have another miner being set up six days ago and then the rest range from two months ago to two years. And what's really interesting to me is the earnings and how it's very drastically different across the different miners. So you have one that is only making one for 30 days versus this one making 50 helium per month. So that's obviously a drastic difference. I don't have the experience to understand why this one is making way more. Obviously, I would want my miner to make 50 helium per month because at a price of $70, that's a pretty good chunk of change and we'd make our money back on the miner pretty fast. Overall, I thought the setup was pretty easy and I am looking forward to earning some helium and sharing updates with you guys going forward. We'll see how the setup in the city is. There's a lot of miners around me, so I don't know if that will end up being a good thing because I'll witness more miners around me and relay more data or if there's more competition. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider Consider subscribing to Matri Wolf where we talk cryptocurrency, investing, stacks, anything to do with money. Thanks guys for watching and have a great day.